Let's take a look at micro pitch expressions within Bitwig Studio 4.4. Now, most of us are familiar with the pitch bend wheel that comes pretty much standard on any hardware or software synth. So if we close out the editor panel, let's come to our third track where I have a synth master on. And actually let's first take the solo off of that second track and we'll solo the synth master and let's get that open. So now if I trigger a note or a couple of notes, we have our pitch bin wheel in the bottom left hand corner. Okay, nothing new, we're all familiar with that. But with this pitch bin wheel, the amount that we apply is going to be applied to the individual note or group of notes in the same amount. So you can't discreetly adjust the pitch bend for each individual note if you're holding down a chord or simply playing back polyphonically or more than one note. And this is where the micro pitch expressions comes in. So let's go ahead and close our synth master back out unsolo the track and let's go ahead and hop up to this first track here. Now, if I open up the device panel, we can see that we have a polymer on here. And there's one caveat to this feature that I'd like to mention, and that is that it only works with native devices or third party instruments that are in the clap format. Now, if you're not familiar with clap, this is kind of a new protocol that is similar to VST3 and AU and some of these other protocols that allow you to host virtual instruments within a DAW. The clap format was developed by Bitwig and Yuhi, and it comes with more advanced features and in theory improved performance over some of the other protocols that are available. So let's go ahead and double click on the first clip here to open up our editor. And actually, I think I would like to open this in the larger editor layout. So I will shift and tab. And then we can see that these notes have a horizontal black line going through, and that's because our micro pitch expression editing is turned on down in the bottom left-hand corner. We can see if I click on that, then those will go away, and this will function in a regular editing mode. But let's go ahead and turn that back on. And now we'll, that we have the lines back, we can click once to add a node, click once to add a second, then I can click, hold, and drag down. Let's come to the third note, add a note here and there. I'll click, hold, and drag this one down. And then let's go ahead and play this back. First, being sure that this track is soloed. Okay. Okay, so that's how we can go about adding these nodes for the micro pitch expressions. And if you notice here that these will snap by semitone. So if you would like to turn that off, you can hold shift and that's going to be temporarily disabled so that you can place these more precisely. If I let go of shift, then again, this is gonna snap by semitone. Also speaking horizontally, this is gonna snap to your current snap setting. So right now we're set to eighth note. If I use the comma on the QWERTY key keyboard, I can change that resolution. And now we can see that this node is gonna snap by the 16th notes. And of course we can just turn snap off altogether by pressing S or clicking on this button here. And then we can precisely place this within the grid. Now we can add as many nodes as we'd like. So if I click once to add here and another one here, let's pull this down to the next note. At the bottom there, I can come back and click again, again, make this adjustment. Let's do one more here. This may sound awful, but just to give you an idea, let's double click. Actually, that sounds pretty good. Let's add some nodes up top. Let's move this one over, add a note here, take this up, and let's give this a listen.
and let's just do one more. Okay, very cool. Now another area to be aware of is the settings within the inspector. So I'll press I to open up the inspector. And we can see that this node is selected. Any node or group of nodes that is selected will be filled in in black. So here in the inspector, we can see information on it as far as its position is concerned, its value, and the spread. So we can triple click three times to make this available to manually put in a value. Double clicking is going to take it back to the default of zero. So when I click, hold and drag up or down, we can see that this is being adjusted within our editor. So just know that you can make the adjustments here within the inspector. Now the spread is going to add some randomness to the pitch for the node that we have selected. So let's come here and select that one. We can see that the spread is zero. But if I click in this field and drag this up, we can see these bars, these horizontal black bars that are showing up. And we can actually make the adjustment within the editor as well. So I'll hold down Alt and click hold and drag up and then we expand this up. Let's make an adjustment on this node. Holding Alt, I'll click hold and drag up. So now this is gonna randomize the pitch for these nodes. So let's play this back. Okay, let's try it with the other nodes out here, holding Alt. Let's quickly take these up. Okay, so sometimes making these adjustments is going to work better than others. Of course, these are taken up pretty high. So if I were to hold Alt and then pull these in, you're probably gonna get them to work a bit better than having such an extreme setting, potentially. Now, if we come up to the top, click, hold, and drag to select multiple notes, then we can see that we now have these right-facing arrows for the value and spread. And when we click on these, we can see a histogram that's gonna give us information on the multiple nodes that have added this spread to. Okay, if we click on that right-facing arrow, then for the value, since we have multiple notes selected, when we click on the right arrow, we can see the histogram provides information for those and the mean are scaling and we can even add chaos. Okay, just take note of the manipulation that's happening in our editor when I make the adjustment here. So this is another area that you can experiment with to come up with new random settings for your nodes. Let's go ahead and close this one out. Now, anytime that we'd like to remove a node or group of nodes, we can just double click to remove a single node at a time. I'll double click here, that's been taken out. And to remove a group, we can click, hold and drag to cover the range of nodes that we'd like to remove. They're highlighted in black. I'll press delete on the QWERTY keyboard and they have been removed. So let's shift tab and come back to our arrange view and let's select this second clip here and we'll give one more listen and wrap up this tutorial on working with micro pitch expressions within Bitwig. Mm -hmm. 